All right, let's walk through now the, uh, okay, we got the app installed here on QuickBooks Web Connector. And let's walk through basically a login session. And you can see the default is this auto run every two minutes that is in the QBC file that can be changed. I believe every minute is supported, even though it defaults to every two. So again, what happens here is the web connector pings your SOAP server every two minutes. So it's not this thing where you can go and talk directly to the QuickBooks desktop. It pings your SOAP server at every two minute interval. Um, you could decide not to have auto run on too, and you could have a manual. And that's what we're gonna be doing a lot, almost always in, in this training course, is I'm gonna be doing manual um, uh, syncs with the, or connections with the SOAP server, um, because I have to demonstrate and I have to do it in a, um, in a you know contrived way, not just in this automatic two minute way. But in general, this is how you do it. You run it every two minutes. So I'm gonna take that off right now and gonna hit the button there, uh, the checkbox. And then from when you hit the checkbox, then this update selected comes on. I don't know why this thing is spinning around. I think it's just uh, something to do with Windows here. And um, okay, so remember too, I, I spun up the server over here. So I got my SOAP server running over here. It's bound to port three, 3001. And it's um, also bound to 0, .0, 0.0.0. .0. So let's go give it a twirl. Okay, so it said, okay, uh, I was expecting something different. Now, this is good. I'm leaving this in the videos because I'm having some problems. Um, normally, it's going to prompt you for the password, but I think what happened is, is like I didn't change the name, perhaps here the app name. I think that's why I was getting maybe that error or the app ID because it's seeing like the exact. Um, same thing and it just replaced the previous application that was here and then it doesn't need the password. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that now. So what you would do is when you first install this, it's gonna ask you for a password. There's no password there. And you provide that to your user again, you're gonna generate something here. You could you could even use their username. I, I recommend just an account wide key that you make for the QuickBooks Web Connector password. Okay. And you generate for for them. Don't worry about a username. Okay, just it's just a password. Um okay it doesn't even have an option for a, a username. I thought it did um when you actually get the prompt. Okay, and I, I should mention this app that I'm using as a sample, it's going to be multi-tenant. So it's going to assume that this is an app with multiple accounts, you, you know the deal. Um, you can easily retrofit if you're just doing a single company, like you, you're just doing your own internal company, you've been tasked with just getting your internal company, then none of the stuff is not going to be that stuff is irrelevant. It's, it's just that uh, you're going to have that little layer of abstraction. You can just take it out if you like. Okay, so let's go into to what just happened here. So this was an authentication. And, and I'm going to get into some of the basics of what you need to set up original for, for uh, a basic um, integration and to do that let me um, show you by default what this gem installs. So th this gem will install database tables into the app, your app, the sample app we're, we're using.